Assalamualaikum. I am the representative from Brooksins. I am going to talk about the neuroplankton factors affecting fish embryogenesis. So, the introduction here. Neuroplankton are organisms that spend only the larval or early stage of their life as part of the plankton. Then, invertebrate larvae and ichoplankton are members of the marine neuroplankton. In this experiment, we use the Anabas testudinus, which is locally known as ikan puyu, as a representative of a fish with planktonic or pelagic eggs. Basically, we are using dynamo detergent with different concentration to observe the effect on embryogenesis of Anabas testudinus eggs. So, the concentration of the dynamo detergent that we use are 0.04% and 0.08%. So, the objective of this experiment is to observe the effect of certain concentration of detergent on the embryogenesis of Anabas testudinus and to observe the time taken for the Anabas testudinus egg to develop when exposed to certain concentration of detergent. For methodology parts, first, we take out the fish sample from the aquarium. Then, we wake the fish to determine the volume of hormone that we should inject into the fish. After that, we inject the fish with ovaprim. Ovaprim is a hormone to induce spawning which trigger the fish to release eggs and sperm. After injection, each female and male fish is put in an aquarium darkened by nets and allowed to spawn naturally. Then, we prepare the solution. First, we pipette 0.2 ml and 0.1 ml of dynamo detergent and dilute with 249.8 ml and 249.9 ml of dechlorinated water, respectively in a 250 ml beaker. The solution in both beaker was stirred by using glass roll until it mixed well. By using the formula M1V1, equal to M2V2, the percentage concentration of the diluted dynamo detergent was obtained which is 0.08% and 0.04% respectively. Next, both solution was tested by using the pH meter and refractometer to obtain the pH and salinity. The microscope was calibrated by using 10 times objective lens before measuring the dimensions and the structure of the egg. In addition, the unfertilized egg which is at the bottom of the beaker was removed. Both of the solution with different concentration was transferred into two different petri dish. The fertilized egg was also transferred into two different petri dish. Then, the egg is put on two different depression slides with a small amount of experimental solution. The egg was observed under light conformal microscope. The stage, time, diameter of the egg were observed and recorded. Lastly, the picture of the fish egg was taken for every stage and was observed until it hatched. Next, we move to the results. For hormone ingestion, we took the fish from 10 teeth. To male, Anabastes studenius was used because the weight and the size of the fish is smaller to compare to the female Anabastes studenius. The, the fertilized time for the Anabastes studenius egg is at 18.45 pm. So, for result, this shows that the differences of egg between control concentration of 0.04 and 0.08 by using dynamo. Before start, the unfertilized egg of Anabas testudinus were transparent, spherical, and brownish in color, while the fertilized egg was found floating and brownish yellow in color. Uh, so, uh, this slide shows the zygote stage between three different concentrations. The zygote shows that 0 0.08 treatment were unidentified because of the late observation. Zygote stage also shows the beginning of fertilized egg. The fertilized egg control and concentration 0.04 were similar and does not show any changes at the beginning of the fertilization. 
for clavage period, there is not much differences between concentration 0.04, 0.08 and control, which is it start from 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64 cells. The, the time taken for each treatment and control shows not much differences. Uh, as we can see, for treatment 0.08, uh, it shows the longer hours post fertilization to reach 64 cells. Next is blastula period. Uh, we start with 128 cells, 256 cells, 512 cells, 1000 cells, high, oblong, sphere, uh, dome, and 30% epiboli. As we can see, at uh, stage oblong, the egg with treatment 0.08% uh, shows a uh, low survival rate. Uh, on the next stage, that is fear, uh, this 0.08 treatment will burst and uh, we replace it with new egg for further observation. So for the dome stage, uh, for the control, the picture of the egg were taken from the other group because of the human error. Uh, next, for 30% epiboli, the egg in treatment 0.04 were burst and that. They has been shown in picture given. Uh, when we observe for new egg to get picture for this stage, uh, all of the egg has go to the next stage that is 50% epiboli stage. For gastrula period, at 50% epiboli stage for concentration 0.04%, we change with the new age. For germring, it does not show any changes between two treatment and control. Then, at stage shield, egg in treatment 0.08% starts to burst and replace with new egg at stage 75% epiboli. While egg in treatment 0.04% start to burst and been replaced with new egg at stage 90% epiboli. Then at stage 90% epiboli treatment 0.08%, the egg start to burst and death make it cannot survive for further stage. So this is the last stage. This is the last stage observation taken for 0.08% concentration. The gastrula period and with bud stage. At segmentation period, there were no change of age for each stage. For five somat stage, only control been observed, and it shows the top view of the age. To the next stage, with which is fourteen somat stage, the age takes longer time for it to develop. As been shown here, it takes about 2 hours from the previous stage. At the segmentation period, the eyes, tails, future head, spinal cord, body musculate soon will be visible. So for prime 5, this is the last stage that we observe after its age has hatched. As for discussion, the fish egg burst and die first due to the tonicity of the solution. This is because the fish egg cannot adapt to the tonicity of the detergent solution. The detergent solution causes the tonicity of the solution toward the fish eggs change and cause it to burst. According to Nakono 1956 research on freshwater fish fishes, the fish eggs start to swell when it is immersed in the distilled water or isotonic solutions. According to Lufer and Lutroff, 1970, the fresh water is hypotonic to the fish eggs. For our experiment, the unchlorinated water with the addition of detergent was used. It may cause the fish egg to burst. Second, the fish egg burns and die because the detergent solution disturbs the fish structures, especially for the fish eggs in the 0.08% of detergent solutions. 
The fish egg can degrade as the stage increases for 0.08% solution. This is because the detergent solution disturbs the physiological system of the fish eggs. The high concentrations of the detergent can affect the cellular and the molecular levels of the fish eggs. Third, the fish egg burst and die because of the oxygen consumption is decreasing in the solutions. The detergents will affect the oxygen consumption and alter the pH and the salinity of the solutions. Then, by usage of the glass lights, it can reduce the diffusion of the oxygen into the solutions. The oxygen levels of the solution will decrease, but the consumption of the oxygen will increase as the fish egg need oxygen for their growth. When the oxygen level decreases, the fish egg will become stressed and it will disturb the growth of the fish eggs. Last one, the fish eggs burst and die because of the temperature. The heat from the microscope can increase the temperature. Increase in temperature can decrease the growth. The range of temperature for the fish eggs takes to hatch in 18 to 24 hours is usually between 28 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is higher than that, it can disturb the growth of the fish eggs and make the stage to become slower if the temperature is high. In conclusion, Detergent is one of the material that can affect the embryogenesis of Anabastase to Dinus. I say that because the fish egg in control solution are hatching as fish larvae, while the fish egg in treatment solution which is in 0.04% and 0.08% did not hatch. It can be said that the fish egg in treatment solution cannot adapt with the concentration because once the detergent is added, the tonicity of the solution changes toward the fish egg and causes the egg to burst. At high concentration, the pollutant can disturb the physiology system of fish egg which can affect the fish egg biochemical composition and cause the egg cannot hatch as larvae. So, this is the list of references that we use. And this is the contribution of each members, each group members. That's all, thank you.